There's so much you don't know about me. Like what, are you like an axe murderer? Worse. What? I'm a gamer. Yeah, I feel pretty sorry for the next guy who looks at me funny. Hmm, what about that guy? <laughs> First rule of horses, never go behind them. If you kick me, you better kill me. If you are unfortunate enough to live in the UK and have horses, and it's between September and March, repeat after me. I love my horse. Honestly, I love my horse. I love my horse, especially in winter. Without my horses, I would be miserable. I regret nothing at all about my life choices. I love my horse. She don't see us? <laughs> you see me? Yeah. Yes, I see you. You see me? Hell yeah, I see you. Both of us sitting here looking like two big Barneys. We see each other. Good Lord, Jandis! I've been saving that for you. The difference between a millennial equestrian and Gen Z equestrian. I always use these straps. If money can't buy happiness, I would like someone to explain this. Regular people walk their dogs on long trips, we walk our horses. Okay, Natalie, say it with me. Mm -hmm. We, we don't, don't need, need it. it. We don't need it. I want to get it. <laughs> my pants and I got a few bodies up under my belt. Oh, bitch, I'm a big gangster. I turn around with this foreign love.
one scoop of why I can't afford to get my car fixed. A big scoop of why I can't afford to go on holiday. One handful of why I can't afford designer clothes. And a big dollop of why I'll never be a millionaire. Mix it all together and feed it to my expensive child. Men only have four moods. Go away. Come back. You woo. Me loves you. <laughs> Feed me. Me hate you. No, I love you. Piss off you fat biok. I didn't mean it. Sorry. Still feed me. Equestrians, you've got to be able to relate. When it's middle of winter, you feels knee deep in mud, it's pitch black and you go to get your horse to bring you into a nice warm stable. And the bastard stood right at the back of the field, full well knowing you're coming to get him to bring him into the wall. So you trek across the field, you fall over a couple of times, you curse him a few times, then the fucker runs all the way to the gate, just as you get to the back of the field. Mud comes flying at you like bullets. You lose your welly, and now you have a soggy foot. And he's just stood there at the gate waiting, as if to say, like, look, I'm here for you, I'm waiting, what are you doing? Like, dude, you're on a one-way trip to a new home. You ain't coming back. <laughs>